Hello students and viewers, welcome back again to Science Capsule, a perfect self-learning tool for school children. In today's video, we will be discussing about one of the most important topic under electricity that is Ohm's law. When we talk about Ohm's law, you must know two important things. One is what is electric current and what is electric potential or potential difference. About these concepts, I have already uploaded a detailed video. If you have not watched that video, then you will find it in the i button and I will also provide in the description. So, we learned that electric current is the amount of charge flowing through a particular area in unit time, right? So, here I is equal to Q by T. When we talk about potential difference, it is potential difference across two points of a current carrying conductor is the amount of work done in carrying a unit charge from one point to another point. Mathematically, potential difference is equal to W by Q. W is the work done and Q is the amount of charge, right? So, we have learned that the current is I is equal to Q by T. Potential difference V is equal to W by Q. Is there any relationship between these two quantities that is current and potential difference? Yes, children, it is Ohm's law which relates these two quantities. So, let us find out how these quantities are related by doing an activity. So, this video is going to be very very interesting. So, watch till the end of this video. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you have not subscribed this channel, subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. So, let us start today's session. Dear students, we know that when potential difference is applied across the conductor, then the electric charge will start flow through the conductor, right? So, in a circuit, potential difference is most important thing which has to be applied in order to make the charge move in the circuit. So, let us find out on applying the potential difference, the current flows, how much current will be flowed in the circuit? Is there any relationship between these quantities by doing an activity? Dear students, to prove Ohm's law, we have an apparatus called Ohm's law apparatus. From this apparatus, we will come to know the relation between the potential difference and current flowing in the circuit. An internal circuit is there from in which voltmeter and ammeter is connected. We know that from the voltmeter, we will come to know the value of the potential difference and from the ammeter, we will know the current flowing through the circuit, right? Now, here a knob is attached by rotating this knob, we can increase the potential difference. On increasing the potential difference, the value of current will also change. In this experiment, we will find the value of potential difference from the voltmeter and from the reading of a meter, we will take the value of current. And after that, we will see is there any relationship between the potential difference and the current. Let us do the activity first. Dear students, this is an apparatus called Ohm's law apparatus. By using this apparatus, we can find the relation between potential difference and current flowing in the circuit. Internally, a circuit is there. Here, a knob is provided which controls the potential difference across the circuit. On turning this knob on, the value of V will increase. Accordingly, the value of I will also increase. In this ammeter, the unit of current is in milliampere. Now, we will see on increasing potential difference, how the value of current changes. From the reading of voltmeter and the ammeter, we will know how they are related to each other. So, let us see. Now, I am turning it on. When I turn it on, then you see both voltmeter and ammeter reading shows 0. Now, when I turn this knob towards right hand side, then you can see very well that the value of potential difference changes. Accordingly, the milliampere, the current reading also changes, right? Gradually, when I increase the potential difference, then you can see very well that the current also changes, right? Now, you can see very well that the value of potential difference is 0 0.5. Here, the least count of current is 0 0.5 milliampere. Here, you see when the potential difference is at 0 0.5 volt, then the current is at 9 units. 9 unit means 9 into 0 0.5 we have to do. So, accordingly, the first reading we will write it. So, the first reading we have got. Now, I am turning this knob to 1 volt. When I keep the potential difference at 1 volt, then you can see here the unit is after 5, 8 units were covered. So, here we have to write here 10, 10 units, 10 plus 8 is 18 units. 
So, altogether when the potential difference is 1 volt, then the current is at 18 units. So, 18 units means 18 into 0 0.5 milli ampere. So, second reading we have got. I am increasing the potential difference to 1.0. When the potential difference is 1.5 at that time you can see that 10, 20, 27 units. The current is in 27 units so the value we will get by multiplying it with 0.5. When the potential difference is at 2.5 volt then you can see very well that the current is at 20.5 that means here 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 units. Here the reading is at 45 units, so 45 multiplied by 0.5 will give you the total current flowing in the circuit when the potential difference is at 2.5 ohm. So this way we have got 5 readings, altogether we have got 5 readings. From these readings, let us find out how potential difference and current is related to each other. After doing the experiment, now we have the value of V and I. Now in the first column you see the value of V at each instance accordingly the current also got increased and the final column you see V by I. If you, if you find the value of V by I in each instance you are getting the same value. From this we can understand that if we increase the potential difference the current also gets increased but the rate of increase of current is with respect to the applied potential difference. So this can be related as potential difference is directly proportional to current flowing in the circuit. If we plot a graph then we will get uh, you can see on the screen after plotting a graph from the value of V and I we are getting a straight line. Here straight line indicates that it is a constant that means V by I remains constant and this constant is known as resistance. Dear students, now see here when I turn this knob towards right hand side, potential difference is increasing at the same time current is also increasing. This shows that potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to current. That means when I increase the potential difference, current also increases, right? When I decrease the potential difference, the current also decreases. Here direct relationship we can see. So we can say that applied potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through the circuit. So this way we can prove Ohm's law by using this apparatus. In place of Ohm's law apparatus you can connect in place of potential difference or change in potential difference you can use cells different combination of cells. Upon increasing the number of cells the current value will change. So this way we can understand Ohm's law. So from this experiment it is clear that the applied potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through the circuit. This is what Ohm's law says. Potential difference is directly proportional to current flowing through the circuit. Clear children? So from this it is very much clear that V is directly proportional to I and V is equal to I R here R is the constant. So Ohm's law states that the potential difference applied across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing in the circuit. So here R is equal to V by I. R is a constant called resistance and the SI unit of resistance is Ohm and it is denoted by the symbol Omega. right? Here if 1 volt of potential difference is applied which produces 1 ampere of current in the circuit then we call 1 ohm of resistance. So from the activity and the explanation I believe you understood the relation between the potential difference and the current. Hope you found this video useful if so then hit the like button. If you have not subscribed this channel subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Still if you have any doubt then you can mention it under comment section. See you all on another day with a new video. Till then take good care of yourself. Bye.